Hello, greetings, Sagittarius. Come on in here for your weekly reading for the week of March 10th through March 16th. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I've already blessed my decks of cards, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to pull a couple of oracle cards and then get clarification with the tarot. And always remember, I read intuitively, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you need Sagittarius to know for this week? Do tell. This oracle deck is the African Goddess Rising Oracle. Let's see what we can get for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I hope you were able to uh, view your video from last week. If not, I will leave it in the cards as well as in the description below. We have one. This is Noonday Truth. Beautiful card. Let's get one more. There we go. All right. And the second oracle for you, Sagittarius, is Mawa Lisa, Cosmic Power. All right. We're going to start with Noonday uh, Truth, right? So we definitely want truth to come through for you this week, Sagittarius, right? And is it, are you telling yourself the truth about what you're feeling um, physically, how you're feeling physically, how you're feeling emotionally? There are some emotional things that I feel like you need to come to terms with, Sagittarius, some, some, um, Truths, own your truths, own your feelings, and how you're feeling about what you is what you are experiencing and what you are seeing in the world today. I feel like there's a blockage. You're blocking your own truth there. And then with Mawa Lisa Cosmic Power, beautiful. I definitely feel like once you come into your own truth, you will find a more harmonious life. You will live a more balanced life. Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get some clarification for you with the tarot. All right. Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know about their own personal truth? Do tell. This deck here is the You Are Magic Tarot deck. All right, Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know about their own personal truth? Do tell. We have Four of Wands for you, Sagittarius. Four of Wands. We also have Nine of Cups. And I'm going to get one more. We have oh, five of swords, Sagittarius. Okay. So what I'm feeling with this, this four of wands, absolutely winning. When you come into your own truth, realizing your own personal truth, which brings you your own personal power. I feel like there is a more joyful life for you, more balance. You are in harmony with yourself. You are in better relationship with yourself, Sagittarius, with this Four of Wands energy, right? Um, it'll be a time to celebrate. You get to have a, a party for your own personal truth. I mean, why not celebrate coming into that? And then... With the Nine of Cups, I'm also feeling it's just more joy, more celebration, um, contentment, happiness for you, Sagittarius, when you come into your own personal truth and really getting honest with yourself when you're speaking to yourself mentally and when you're speaking aloud to others, just being honest with your truth, not biting your tongue, right? Because right now, Spirit is telling you that you are in conflict 
with yourself because you're not expressing your own truth. But when you start to express your own truth, Sagittarius, this will bring you freedom. You will begin to feel a change for yourself in how you go about interacting with others and what you and how you respond to experiences you're having or what you're seeing in the world that deeply affects you Sagittarius right all right spirit what else can you tell us I just feel like there's a lot of freedom for you Sagittarius when you come into your own personal truth you recognize it you acknowledge it you believe your own truths right you're not believing what someone else is telling you Unless it aligns and resonates with you, Sagittarius. You know, don't let somebody take a piss on your leg and tell you it's raining, right? That's that's not what we're doing, Sag. All right, Spirit, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Do tell. Too much. All right. We have the two of coins. Mm -hmm. We have the ten of swords. Yes, yes. And we have the queen of wands. Okay, Sagittarius. Spirit also wants you to know that there is a delicate balance that you have to, you have to complete for yourself, right? You have to balance your emotions and your mental with your truth, right? It's not just your emotions and your mental, but it's also having your truth resonate and rise to the top of your very being so that you're living in your truth. You're walking in your truth. You're responding and not reacting because your truth has given you freedom, right? And you're able to express yourself more readily and more easily. And that's the celebration of everything for you, Sagittarius. And then you have the Ten of Swords. What you're experiencing now with the pushing down of your true self and your true feelings or your true thoughts, you're experiencing a lot of turmoil. But Spirit is telling you when you come into power of your own personal truth, that is ending right now. It's all over. You are no longer betraying yourself by not actually expressing your truth. And then, <coughs> excuse me. And then Sagittarius, then you have that queen of wands energy, male or female, it, it makes no difference. You have that queen of wands energy just exuding from you with that um, independence that you've gained for yourself. You have better self-esteem. Self uh, you feel more powerful in your decisions. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's move on to Mawa Lisa Cosmic Power for you, Sagittarius. Again, this is asking you to come into harmony and balance with yourself. Spirit is asking you to do this, Sagittarius, okay? Come into harmony and balance with yourself. We have a shadow side and we have a light side. They work in harmony to produce the experiences and outcomes we go through in our day-to-day -day life. So with Cosmic Power, you have the Knight of Cups, okay? We also have the Ace of Wands for you, Sagittarius. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Again, this is coming to an end where you're not walking in your personal power, where you're not standing in your truth, operating from a place of freedom and joy because you can live truthfully with your emotions and with your mental, right? So we're just, Spirit is just reminding you this uh denial of your feelings so that you don't rock the boat or so that you don't upset the apple cart or you're not losing connections because people don't like your truth it's we we're not concerned with what people like about your truth because when you keep to peace it when you try to keep the peace it leaves you in pieces so we're not doing that anymore sagittarius right with this knight of cups this is spirit is reminding you to go after what lights you up, 
your own pursuit of happiness. You've been doing things to keep other people happy while you are slowly melting away on the inside. You are just a shell of yourself because you're not expressing yourself truthfully in various situations through life. So spirit shows us the Knight of Cups to remind you to go after your heart's desire, your pursuit of happiness, Sagittarius. And then here with the Ace of Wands, okay, Sagittarius, this is telling you there's a new beginning of you creating the truthful life of your desire. It's a brand new start. Like we said, with the Ten of Wands showing up twice, that's dead and gone. We're not living like that anymore, Sagittarius. This is a brand new beginning, a brand new you. Who this, right? That type of thing, Sagittarius. And then again, we have the Ten of Swords no longer living in someone else's truth or uh, keeping the peace just so you can go to pieces. All right. So we have the Ace of Wands again. Come on, Spirit. I love this for you, Sagittarius. The King of Wands. Wow, this is very high-powered energy. And the Two of Wands. High-powered energy for you, Sagittarius, with the Ace of Wands yet again. Just like you got two Ten of Swords, you have two Ten of Wands telling you, brand new you, who this Okay, Sagittarius, I'm excited for you. Brand new beginning, brand new life. You can start over and start to live authentically, right? And then the King of Wands energy shows up for you, Sagittarius, which is amazing. This is absolutely amazing because what Spirit is showing you <clears throat> with this King of Wands energy is that you you have vision. You have a vision for your life and and... In order to start to properly walk that journey, properly walk that vision for your life, you have to be truthful and live as your authentic self. So Spirit is reminding you, your vision, your leadership, it all comes from living your authentic, truthful life. And then we have the Two of Wands here for you, Sagittarius, showing up in your reading. And what Spirit is reminding you is that... You are now making plans to make a shift in your life. Things are changing. Things are moving in the direction you want to go because you choose this for yourself, right? You choose this for yourself, Sagittarius. This is a beautiful thing. Step into your truth. There is power that resides within you. With that, and it, the power comes with your truth, Sagittarius. Know that spirit is telling you it's time for a change, it's time for a shift. Be your authentic self, live your truth day in, day out. Don't keep the peace just to fall to pieces, silently dying, right, Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, if you've made it to the end of the video, this was absolutely for you. Drop in the comments, I'm ready to walk in my truth. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with one of your friends or family that will resonate with this as well. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything I have coming out for you. I will see you soon, but until then, bye-bye.